Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you're seeing and want to see more. So today we were looking at two facets, one part of the NR NARL where we have a new signing uh, for the Atlanta Rhinos and we also have a look at the rugby league scores in the Super League and the Championship in the UK. That is because hashtag fans are back. So our first stop is the NARL, as I mentioned, as Atlanta Rhinos have signed Harrison Harry Higgins uh, to their playing staff for the 2021 season. Uh, Harry um, is 29 years old, six foot three, and is 230 pounds, and predominantly played rugby union throughout his rugby career. He has two USA Rugby Union caps, one against Italy. Um, thanks to his bring, being brought up in Australia, he's Australian born, uh, well, and attended uh, Brisbane Grammar School, which he also played Rugby Union in the first 15 for. Uh, that was between 2005 to 2008. Uh, 2004 to 2008. A little while later he went on to play for Arkansas State Rugby between 2011 and 2015. New York Old Blue Rugby Football Club 2015 to 2017 and followed that up by one season with West Harbour Pirates and Tiger Bulldogs each between 2017 and 2019. He also played for Rugby ATL, which is a major league rugby club, um, which is based in Atlanta. He joins the Atlanta Rhinos for their upcoming 2021 season for the Rugby League and um, seems to be another player who's going to go into the pack. Uh, with his size, it only makes sense. Uh, and also, considering that he played predominantly number eight uh, or lock uh, during, uh, well, he's played number eight and lock, but primarily played as a flanker for his teams in Major League Rugby and all other rugby teams that he's played for. So that's a good, uh, good experience, and uh, would be able to transfer. Uh, because of his actually born, he probably would have had a bit of school rugby league during his period. But it's grammar school, so not so much, I reckon. Probably cricket more than anything. Anyway. So, yes, that's Atlanta's uh, notification for us all about their new signing for the 2021 season. Good luck to you, Harry Higgins. So, our next part of the video I've really, really enjoyed because... Fans are back. Fans are back in rugby league grounds, and there have been some results that have helped that, and some that have actually hindered. First of all, we have a quick look into the Betfred Championship as Featherston Rovers beat Oldham 64 points to nil. Swinton lost 18 points to 20 against Dewsbury Rams while playing at Haywood Road at home. Then we go on to the Super League. It was 22 points to 26. Castleford were be being beaten at home against Hull KR. H H the other side of Hull were beaten at home 10 points to 27 versus Catalan Dragons. Um, it's a bit of an indifferent period that Brett Hodgson is going through. Um, fans back in attendance. Hopefully it's nothing to do with that, but we'll see what where all go after this. Might be just because Catalan are playing better rugby at this time, but they're also a bit. Um, I don't like to use the word schizophrenic, but it's the best description of them at the moment. Uh, Catalan Dragons, due to their cup performance against Warrington last week. Lee um, put on a good show against uh, Wigan as it was 16-16 at half time but unfortunately they eventually lost 30 points to 16 um, 
Wigan coming out on top at uh, the, the Lee Centurion Stadium, one of the venues for the Rugby League World Cup. St. Helens beat Salford Red Devils 28 points to nil at the um, Totally Wicked Stadium of St. Helens. And we come to the last game uh, that was played. All are played at the same time. And that was Warrington Wolves versus Huddersfield Giants. It was another big game. And it wasn't going it wasn't going to form as Huddersfield started the game better. Uh, Warrington's lacklustre the first twenty minutes repeated itself and it showed when it came to half time as Huddersfield at the Hallowell Jones Stadium were beating Warrington twenty points to nil. One of the highlights of the first half for me just to show fans are in attendance. The biggest shout of forward was the biggest shout of the game. And the referee gives it. It's fans back. Fan influence more than likely. As it was a borderline call. Probably just about got it right. But the fans shouted for it. And they got the re they got the results in forward pass. Warrington. It didn't help them in the first half unfortunately. Um, as Warrington were trailing at half time. Second half though things kicked up a gear for Warrington as they came out of the blocks and got it back to 18 points to 20. Kicking by both sides was on point. Adam Caesar was brilliant in the first half of his kicking but the tail of the two halves when it came to attacking plays were Warrington weren't capitalised on but Blake Austin's bombs caused no end of problems I think there was one that was regulation and all the rest were going so high and planting in the middle of the two backs um, two back players that they had in position to collect the bombs but they didn't know what to do with it a couple of times they were forcing that caused force of dropouts even though the ball was landing 25 metres out and it went bouncing back and the other field players were recovering. Great kicks. It's just a shame that they couldn't capitalise on it. Uh, capitalize on it. Don't get me wrong, Warrington were almost done by one of the one of the kicks for Huddersfield as well, in the same vein, but to the corner. Fortunately, Ricky Litelli's pass went back inside and found Gareth Widdup. Gareth Widdup was following up all Blake Austin's kicks and was causing no end of problems. Forcing everything. Probably ran more than anyone on the pitch, Gareth with a pin attacking sense. Defensive sense, uh, for Warrington, it would have been. It was an even effort, to be honest, uh, for them all. But in the offensive sense for. for Huddersfield, I. Uh, Ricky Latelli going forward, but as an all-round play, it was Kenny Edwards being the spoiler. Really good play, and he scored the winning try. As he's, it ended up 26 points to 20 for the Huddersfield Giants. Brilliant game. A great choice for what Sky Sports put on TV. And on my Twitter account, follow the stream. Um, Hashtag SL War Hood. I'll put it on it. You'll see it here. And you'll be able to see how the plays went and my descriptions of how the game went. But yeah. Um, things went to form in some cases. Others, it was going to be a toss of the coin. But the Huddersfield the Warrington game was a bit of a surprise because that was Huddersfield's second win of the season. And Ian Watson is showing life, getting getting life out of that Huddersfield side uh, to show his processes to win games. And that's what he said after the game as well. So, that's how the scores went. And you'll be able to see them. There. <laughs> So 
so that's where we end today ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching please remember the race to 100 is still ongoing please also give me your feedback follow me on twitter like subscribe do everything share it around the world i don't care well i do care because if you share it it's giving me more of an audience anyway i will see you in the next video